Hey guys, so Alice is in the game now, but as you can see, she is behind a $50 paywall. So a lot of people are saying this is scummy, that marble, you're ruining my life. I'll give you my thoughts on all that near the end of the video, but I do want to just showcase her because she is pretty cool. So this is the box here, so you get both Alice and her special card, which is nice that you get the special card at least. Come in here, so you can see the artwork is pretty awesome. Uh, she's doing a special where she accidentally falls and she dunks this dude. Really good artwork. But let's take a look at her. Hi! Hi. <laughs> okay, so... Here's her leader skill. It increases blue element fighter's attack by 40% and power charge rate by 20%. That's a good leader skill. Her relation is not that great. Um... Yeah, I mean, I like this Joe for, like, playing him for fun. Because he does the low cooldown stuff, but... I don't know, her, her relations aren't all that great. Let's take a look at her cores. Uh, she gets a 12% attack damage boost against blasters. That's whatever. <laughs> Crit rate increase. That's fine. Okay, so here we go. Decreases damage taken by 25% when power is 2 or more. So, keep your power at 2 or more. You're going to have a huge damage reduction. So, uh, that's actually kind of cool. I tend to like to just blow all the power <laughs> that I have, but um, I'm not going to say that that's not a pretty decent defensive skill. Next one. Gain super armor for 3 seconds when attacked while poisoned or chilled, but that has a 20 second cooldown. So if you're finding a character that will chill or poison you, you're going to have super armor against that character quite a bit. 20 seconds, it, that can be a pretty long time. I mean, you know how fights, how quick fights can pass. In this game, you know, sometimes a fight can be like five seconds. So, uh, this is okay because, you know, there's only a select group of characters that poison and chill people. Take a look at our skills here. Deals damage and increases attack by 18% for seven seconds. That's good. You know, not as high as some of the other characters we've seen, but um, that's, that's a good skill. Always raising your attack. Uh... This one just deals damage. Next one deals damage and increases penetration for 7 seconds by 500. That's weird. I, I want them to flip it. Incre like, it should say, in my opinion, increases penetration by 500 for 7 seconds. It just reads easier. Disables target's roll for 3 seconds when landing this active skill. So, you know, no rolling for you. Now her striker skill is actually pretty dang good. Gain super armor for 3 seconds and recover 10% of health. I mean... Her striker skills like her second best one, other than just gaining increased damage percentage. As you can tell, um, she doesn't have any music in the background. I don't know if they forgot to add it, or I don't know what that's about. But it is kind of eerie when you're so used to having music play in this spot. It's a little weird. Anyways, but she does look good. She looks good in the model, and uh, they did a good job putting her in the game. But let's see her move here. What? I uh, love that she speaks English. I always like when Japanese voice actors do English. I don't know. I don't know why. I just love it in anime and everything. All right, so here's the next one here. That's really cool. Uh, that's the one that just does damage. It doesn't like do anything else. Here's the penetration. I mean, they're pretty decent moves as far as like what they do. So here's her finisher. That's cool. Uh, next one here. This is her set card that you would get in the package. <laughs> That's cool. I like the pose at the end. All right, so there's Alice in the in this little package here. Uh, is she worth fifty dollars? No, <laughs> she's good. Um, you know, but she's not fifty dollars good. Now I do want to. You know, mention again that you do get this special card with her. So, I don't know, maybe you could cut the value of them, like, in half and say it's, you know, 25 for her, 25 for the special card, whatever it is. Uh, it is it is overpriced. She's not, in my opinion, not good enough to draw 50 bucks on. I know that's relative. Some people could easily throw 50 bucks at a character they really enjoy, and there's nothing wrong with that. Now, this is coming from a guy who doesn't mind throwing money at this game to support it. It's a free game. 
And I do spend money on this every once in a while just so the game can keep running and then other folks can play it for free if they want to. Because I just enjoy the game. But would I spend 50 bucks on this? No. Uh, but a lot of people are saying that it's scummy or immoral type of deal. I wouldn't go that far, right? Like, it is overpriced. So if I went to the store... And I saw an item that was like way overpriced, let's say like a soda or whatever, and the soda was like 20 bucks. You'd go, holy crap! Why is this soda 20 bucks? But would I say it's immoral to sell that soda for $20? No, I would be like, why are you selling this soda for 20 bucks? That's kind of dumb. So that's kind of where I'm at here. Not quite to the point where I'm saying it's dumb, but to the point where it's like, uh, I think it might be overpriced. But to say that Netmarble is scummy after they just gave us the false Halloween event where you can kind of get like three characters for free with a little luck, you know, or at least you're getting like one or two characters for free or it's, it's just, that just seems silly to me. Is this worth it? No. Is it scummy? No, I don't think so. So, uh, that's just my stupid opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think she's cool? Uh, I actually think she's cool. Is this worth it? And, uh, or is this scummy? So let me know what you think. I really do value uh, other people's opinions. I find it interesting. I'll try to reply as much as I can to all the comments. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you'd like more King of Fighters All-Stars content. Also do a lot of summoning videos and mobile game reviews. So if that sounds interesting to you, please subscribe, please. God bless you and you have a blessed day, y'all. Man, they just had to call it Alice's April Fool's gift. <laughs> That's probably not a good name for it either.